Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for True Feelings Revealed right now, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And guys, the Eye of Zen is back up on Amazon.com. All the information is in the description box below. And if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, JenniferWalkerIsZen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my darlings, we're going to be talking about the status of this connection. All right, so what's going on? How do they feel about you and what do they want from you romantically? Okay, and if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in here, Scorpio. All right, so what's going on my Scorpio's love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Give me an assessment of my Scorpio's love connection. Show the cards in each you see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so we're going to pull three cards, Scorpio, for the status of this connection and what's going on, okay? And also, Scorpio, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Your sun sign, Scorpio, represents your soul. Your moon sign represents your emotions. And your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these, Scorpio, make up who you are, so feel free to cross-watch for more information. And this last part right here is going to be what do they want from you, okay? What do they want from you romantically? And let's hit the bottom of the deck. We have the sense of loss, five of pentacles energy. Someone's getting over some hurt or pain because there was a lack of balance in taking a risk. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so we see here with the status, we have the wheel of fortune energy, okay? We have the ten of pentacles energy. And we have the lover's card energy. Oh my goodness. What a great um, status of this connection. So it looks like the universe is turning things in your favor. Now the right timing is here. And it looks like there is some sense of long-term aspects of this with the Ten of Pentacles energy. And we see the Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Some of you may be connecting with your Twin Flame Soulmate Connection. Or start of a relationship here with the Lover's Card energy. Or choice that's being made here with the heart. I also feel like with this particular connection, I feel there's something divinely guided about it. I feel like there's some sense of openness about this that wasn't uh, that you guys weren't aware of before. And I do feel like there is other people involved with this, possibly something to do with family here, or uh, just uh, this other, other individuals here. Um, so let's keep going. What's going on with my Scorpios? Love connection. Let me get an assessment of this, please. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so the status of the situation, we got the writer card. We have a person card. And we have a store card. Okay, so the person card, as I always tell you guys, it can be you, it can be the love interest, okay? So we see that there's news, good news about a person and improvements, okay? And changes or a changing of location, store card energy in a relationship. Scorpio's love connection, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Give me an assessment of Scorpio's love connection, the one that's on their mind. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got the cutting energy. We have stress. We have opportunity, key card. Abrupt decisions are being made or some unhealthy things from the past are being cut away when it comes to stress for this opportunity. Okay, that's a very interesting. So Scorpio, let's now move into your love interest feelings for you. All right, we got the Eight of Swords. We have the Three of Swords, and we have the Queen of Cups. Your person seems to be feeling like they're trapped in their thoughts, they're trapped in their situation. And it's causing them a lot of heartache because they feel like they do want love and devotion from you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, they could be feeling like they're trapped because possibly another person is involved with the situation because Three of Swords is there. That's for some of you. For others of you, it's just this person's like, I feel trapped, I feel like my back's against the wall, and I'm, I'm, I'm really just doing a lot of thinking and stuck in my thoughts. And Scorpio, I feel heartache here, and I, I long for you, and I, I want love and devotion. I'm trying to be patient. I want to figure out things emotionally here. Okay, so let's keep going. Box card. Letter card, text message, letter, clover. 
I don't know how to be honest with you about the fact that I'm stuck here. I want to give you some kind of text message letter or document about the sense of heartache. I want to take a risk. I want to take a leap of faith here for love. Wow, really, really deep so far. We have romantic feelings, family, and indecisions. What did I say, guys? I felt like when I was looking here, the stress about this family situation, there's other people involved. This person feels like I really have romantic feelings for you. But there seems to be some conflict with family, resolving that conflict, which is leaving them at a crossroads, some indecisions. Okay. Again, they're, they're showing me that they have love for you. And, and we have the Eight of Cups. And we have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, I feel like we have so much potential for love here. I want to send you a message of love. And I want to walk away from these things of the past, this person of the past, Six of Cups energy. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Tower. We have the conversation about house and family. So, Scorpio, I love you and I want to have a conversation about this separation, this isolation, because of house and family and these things of the past, Six of Cups energy. Let's keep going. We see the Friends card. We see the Luck card. And we see the Uncertainty. Um, I feel like they're like, you know, I have a good time with you. We also have a very strong friendship as well. I really enjoy hanging out with you. You're almost like my best friend kind of energy. I do feel like things are moving in my favor. I want things to be on, luck to be on my side. But I do have uncertainty about where I stand with you, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. This person feels like you may have friend zoned them. Huh. Oh, they're concerned about that. Hmm. Or that there's friends infringing upon the connection, which is causing a lot of uncertainty in the connection. Okay, let's keep going here. Star card energy. Three of cups again coming out. King of pentacles coming out. I'm hopeful, Scorpio, of a positive outcome. I'm really hopeful of this connection. What did I say? I felt like some of you did, guys did have another person involved. And we see the Three of Cups and then we see the Three of Swords. But do I see the box card energy here anywhere? I don't see the Devil card. Okay. So I'm really hopeful of a positive outcome that we can hang out, celebrate, and have a sense of joy. Or there is something to do with friendship or more than one choice or option. And I feel like I want to make the best decision pertaining to the long term. Okay. Fish card. Whip card. Scythe card. Okay. I have a lot of emotions invested in this Scorpio. And I really feel hurt about something to do with friends. Or I want to argue and fight about this other person. I want to make a decision here. A best decision. A wise decision. Okay. Oh my goodness, they have chemistry and passion, money and finance, and the sense of confusion. Okay, so this person has a lot of passion for you, but they feel like there's some things going on with money and finance that may be infringing upon the connection, or they're concerned about some potential long term here with the Ace of Pentacles kind of energy, and they're confused because they don't know where they stand with you. Okay, so. Scorpio, this person has romantic feelings for you, and we see, huh, well, the, the thing that I heard was friends with benefits because of the friends and the, the sexual union card, and we see that there is something to do with family and resolving that family conflict and for things to turn in your favor because of money and finance, and some indecisions and uncertainty, which is causing this person a lot of confusion here. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio. Let's uh, continue further and let's see, let's go further here. Okay, so the central theme of what they feel like is they like, wow, I feel lucky to have you. Things are turning in my favor. I have romantic feelings for you and I have a lot of chemistry and passion, but I'm, at a, I'm confused about an indecision. Okay, 
Family and friends and money and finance seem to be causing some uncertainty. Okay. Going further on this, Scorpio. Okay, I feel like I want to have a conversation with you. I don't know how to be honest with you about my emotions and making this decision towards reconciliation or taking a risk. I want to send you some kind of text message, a letter or document about this sense of isolation or separation and this hurt and pain when it comes to house and family. Okay, going further on this Scorpio. I feel trapped in my situation. I have a sense of heartache because of this having to be patient, getting some kind of advice or trying to figure out what I want emotionally. I really want to send you a message of, a message of love and walk away from things of the past. I'm really hopeful here about friendship, celebration, a sense of joy, going out, and I want to make the best decision here on the long term. Okay, so let's now break this down and see what else they want. What do they want for you romantically? They want your patience, okay? They want something to not, for you to accept what they're offering. And they want to argue their point, Five of Wands energy. Okay, we got the Bear card, we have the Star card, and we have the Heart card. They want a sense of control here, and they want you to be hopeful about love, Heart card energy. Okay, they want to, we see the Deception card, we see the Nurturing card, and we see something to do with this ex-partner's other person. Okay, um, I feel like they want, they want to be dishonest, or they don't know how to be completely honest, and they want you to be very nurturing and supportive even though they have to deal with some unfinished business of this other partner or person. Oh, okay. Seems like a lot of interesting reads uh, coming out from this, uh, this week. Wow. Okay. Let's go down a little further here, Scorpio. Commitment to be brought into balance and delays and challenges. So they, they want a commitment to engage your marriage and they want things to be brought into balance but they know that there's going to be some delays and challenges around that. And they don't want you to argue and fight with them about love and this other person. Okay. Whew. Okay. Scorpios, I love you guys so much. Yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay, considering this read, okay. Um, this is a very interesting situation. Um, actually, your situation does feel like it's similar to one of the other signs. I feel like it was Libra. So you may want to check out that read as well, because um, I always tell you guys, check your moon, rising, and sun sign information. Uh, also, my darlings, I love you guys so much. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. Uh, the monthlies, which is love, career finance, and health and wellness. There's also um, secrets up and available right now. The weeklies, which is the day today and the overall. And then uh, the n next day or two, I'm going to be coming out with the mid monthlies for love and wealth. And then also the new read that I'm coming out with, which will be uh, for it. So it'll be have two different reads in it. It'll have one for somebody who wants to find out about their ex and the other one about new love. So I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in another date or two. And yes, I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay?